Hey guys, thanks for joining me again in the dark. On the left right here, we have a Scott FRR, which is basically just a 40mm port version of the Scott GSR, which is the current service British gas mask. And behind it, we have a British issue GSR carrier. On the right right here, we have a current issue Russian PMK4 gas mask with its issue filter sock. It's uh, issued a camo cover for its gas hood and its issued carrier. Focus, there we go. On the right right here, we have a Chinese FM Joe 09 and its issued carrier. So why are we in the dark, you may ask? And why are we looking at these mass sender kits through a night vision device? Well, we're doing that because we want to test out how much NIR, near infrared radiation, these masks reflect. And why do we want to do that? Well, hmm, let's say you're doing some night fighting and you're trying to hide from people who are wearing night vision goggles. Well, night vision is very sensitive in the NIR spectrum and a lot of things in the environment emit NIR, including the sun. So by that extension, moonlight will have a lot of NIR. The stars emit a lot of NIR. So by that extension, starlight will have a lot of NIR and uh, street lights and uh, city lights in general also emit a lot of NIR. So by the extension, light pollution and sky glow will have a lot of NIR as well. And those are the things that are illuminating the night landscape for people wearing night vision goggles. So ideally, to blend into our, to our environment in the dark, you want to have, wear things, you know, you want to wear helmets, uniforms, you know, gas masks and gas mask carriers that do not reflect more NIR than their surroundings. And uh, speaking of your surroundings and your environment, they'll typically include things like uh, grass, brushes, bush, and trees, and by that extension, wood, tree trunks. And um, to simulate, you know, wood and tree trunks, we have this natural wood table right here, which I hope will be a good, you know, backdrop, a good reference uh, for, you know, all the pieces of gear to contrast against. So if something contrasts, is a lot brighter than this uh, wood natural wood table right here, then it's probably going to stick out like a sore thumb. Alright, now let's get into how we're actually going to do the test. So we're going to be looking at how much these pieces of kit contrast against the table under both passive and active night vision. So what is passive night vision? Passive night vision is what you're looking at right now. It is basically just a night vision device picking up the ambient visible light and the ambient NIR, NIR light from what looks to be half moon and some light pollution. It's basically just picking up that uh, ambient light and then intensifying it and I'm giving you this um, clear picture right here. So that is uh, passive night vision, what it looks like. Now let's talk about active night vision. So an active night vision device will be emitting its own NIR light like this. And the night vision device will basically just pick up the reflected NIR and provide you with an image such as this. All right. So basically, we're just gonna see how, you know, how all this stuff contrasts against the table under both passive and active night vision. So if something's significantly brighter under passive or active compared to the table, it's probably gonna stick out. Uh, in the dark uh, to someone who is wearing night vision. All right, let's begin with a piece of reference material. This uh, <laughs> underwear right here. Now this underwear is black in visible light to my naked eyes. However, under, you know, under night vision, it does not appear to be black. In fact, it appears to be pretty bright. Now this is because while it does not reflect a lot of uh, visible light, it does reflect a lot of NIR. So this is something to keep in mind when you're doing night fighting. Don't just, you know, go out and buy a bunch of dark clothes and put it on and expect to be, you know, totally invisible in the dark given to people with night vision devices. Nah. Something that may not reflect a lot of light in the visible spectrum may not do the same thing in the NIR spectrum. So that's something to keep in mind. That's also why NIR compliance is very important for night fighting equipment. So. That's something that's not NIR compliant. Let's move on to something that is supposedly NIR compliant. This is a PVS-14 carrier. And it's advertised by the manufacturer to be NIR compliant. And uh, as you can see, it, under passive night vision, it does appear to reflect 
less than the black underwear. All right, so that was us looking at the reference material under passive night vision. Let me just turn my gain down and turn on my IR illumination, and we're going to look at them under active IR illumination. Boom. Yeah, that's the difference between NIR compliant and non-compliant. The black underwear appears to be bright white. It's reflecting a lot of NIR. And the carrier, well, it's also reflecting quite a lot, but it's not contrasting with the table as much as the black underwear. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this is the FR under passive night vision. And yeah, it's pretty dark. It's not reflecting a lot of NIR. It's definitely not reflecting a lot of visible light. So yeah, the FR, if you're wearing the FR and by that extension, the GSR at night, you're pretty much, your face is going to blend in pretty well to the environment. But its carrier, though, its carrier is contrasting quite a lot with the table, the, with the wooden table. And, uh, well, it's not as bad as the black underwear, but, yeah, if someone, uh, yeah, if, it, if, if, it's, if you have a strong moonlight out, or if someone's using active iron illumination, it's probably going to stand out. And let's just switch over to active illumination to see. Boom. Okay, so under active IR illumination, the GSR face piece itself is still to doing pretty well. It's carrier though, hmm. Well, under active IR illumination, it does appear to not be contrasting a lot with the table anymore. So I guess that's good. And yeah, <laughs> just to compare it to the black underwear again, the black underwear is reflecting more than anything else on this table. All right, so this is the PMK4 under passive night vision. It appears to be performing rather well. It's not contrasting a lot against the table. It's issued kit, however. Uh, its filter socket is, yeah, pretty bright. It's reflecting quite a lot of NIR. It's a camo cover for the gas hood. It also looks like it's reflecting quite a lot of NIR. It, yeah, it's not as bad as the uh, black underwear, but it's still contrasting quite a lot under passive night vision. It's, oh, it's a uh, carrier though, appears to be better than the Scott FR or the Scott GSR's carrier under uh, passive night vision. So now let's turn on active night vision, active IR illumination and see what's what. So boom. Okay, so under active IR illumination, it still appears, it appears that the, F, the PMK4 face piece is still performing rather well, but it's issued kit, the, the filter sock, the camo cover for the gas hood, Oh, and the carrier as well all appear to be very bright. And, the, and even though the carrier appears to be, you know, darker under passive night vision compared to the FR or the GSR's carrier, under active night vision, however, it appears to be brighter. So, yeah, the issue kit with the PMK4, eh, not exactly really nice under active IR illumination for blending in, but the face piece itself is still pretty nice for blending in. So there's that. Now onto the FMJ09. Well, its face piece is somewhere between the PMK4 and the uh, Scott FR. So if I were to rank these three on how much, how how less, how little uh, NIR they reflect under passive night vision, then the FR reflects the least, followed by the FMJ09 with the uh, PMK4 reflecting the most NIR under uh, passive night vision. But even though the PMK4 ranks last, it's still very serviceable. Now, uh, the FMJ09 carrier, it's... Uh... Yeah, well, under uh, passive night vision, it appears to be darker than the uh, GSR carrier. And a little bit brighter compared to the... Uh, PMK4 carrier. The mass itself, yeah. Looks pretty good. It will allow you to blend in. Now let's turn on active IR and see what's what. So active active under active IR, the face piece itself is still performing really well. But the filter, look at it. That filter is a black filter and it's reflecting a shit ton of NIR. So yeah, the filter will not allow you to blend in, but the mask will. And the carrier, well, who is bright? 
is the brightest carrier <laughs> of them all over here. So yeah, uh, if you're wearing FMJ09 in the dark, uh, swap the filter out for a different one for, you know, maybe a black plastic one like what the Scar FR has. And yeah, ditch that carrier because it reflects a shit ton of NIR. But the face piece itself, yeah, it will allow you to blend in pretty well. So hey, that's that. Thanks for watching.